Hello. Right, I'm out in woods to cook up a bit of a piscatorial picnic. I've got a cod and lobster. I'm going to knock up a quick fire and we're just going to do a rudimentary, simple as you like, food on coals. That's it. I don't have any, I've, I've got some seasoning. I don't have anything spectacular to do with it. I'm just doing it as simple, as simple as it comes. But it's been a long time coming. I'm really excited. I'm really excited uh, to cook this fish. Because it's my first fish that I got after... Uh, it's been a long time coming from, uh, from when I first set off to do my freediver's course. I'm going to go spear fishing and catch a fish, cook it and eat it. And I'm hopefully going to do that in the northeast of England, which not a lot of people do. So that's my goal. To now. And I've had some, excuse Barnet. Look at Barnet, mate. It looked like a, an ex footballer, don't I? Even more than Joey D. But it's either that or Bonehead, and I don't suit Bonehead because lugs look at lugs. Like some sort of rat features. So just going with, with Long Barnet for now. <laughs> Uh, yeah mate, so I've finally, I'll run the clips of, of me catching this cod, it was hard fought, it was three days of climbing up and down this big cliff, uh, getting all my gear in and out and spending over two hours each time, so it was over six hours of water time. i waiting for this moment for a while mate, I've even come out many a time and then gone home because I've not had any visibility but... I can see I've got I've got uh, I've got visibility, so I've got all my gear in my bag. I've got I think I've got about eight kilograms just in weight because I don't plan on uh, I don't plan on going deep because I'm on my own and it's just not advisable to go to push it when you're on your own. So be no more than no more than say five meters today. No real big hopes, I secretly do mate, I secretly think I'm going to get at least a lobster, that's my secret dreams anyway, halfway down, <laughs> it's a chill with all gear on but I don't care, it's so good to be out mate, it's so good to see that I can see in the sea, if you see what I mean, just using these old ropes that were, that have been put here by, I don't know, fishermen or jet collectors or whatever just use them to get up and down it's a bit of a trek like you see all the cliffs coming away over there get this bag off mate because it is heavy i've got air band on because air's getting a bit unruly denim shorts <laughs> and me barefoot uh me barefoot shoes like a right joey exotic don't i but that's life that's the life i've uh, that's the path I've chosen. Tide's still going out. Uh, and then once it gets to low, low tide, I'll have that bit of slack. I'll have some slack, slack tide for an hour. Now that's what I'm looking to utilise. This is a tricky bit, let me get in shot so you can see. Not for the claustrophobic or the wide of head. Hot to trot, got me float, got me diver below, flag, torch, me lobster hook on here, and me net for if I catch anything. And I'll attach me gun to that line there. Uh, that's it really, I've got my line cutter, in case I get caught up in any line or fishing line or rope or anything on there. I know where that is at all time. Oh, and I've got me my knife on my uh, ankle as a, a tool just to, in case I catch out really. I can't see anything mate. 
I mean, it's nice. <laughs> I'm caught up in all sorts of kelp, but the visibility is shit. <sighs> visibility is shit. I can't even see. Can't even see the tip of me gun under water. Come and have a look. Visibility is kek. I've been catfished. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's nice like. It's gonna keep trying mate, gonna keep gonna keep on diving. I'll take you through one more with me and then I'm gonna put you on on float mate. You do me head in. It's Ian Beale. It's Ian Beale. Not having it. Not ready for it. Don't want it. <laughs> I've gained five dollars by that seal, mate. Ah. Totally vibed out. <laughs> you can't. You don't know where he's going to pop up. Right, I've been out for a while and um, visibility is just not there. I've got to go right to the bottom just to be able to see what, just to be able to see half a metre in front of me. Which is just not, you know, it's not conducive for spearing, so uh, I sacked the spear off, just thought I'd dive, see if I could get lobster, crabs, still very difficult in these conditions. And then, <laughs> I'll never, it'll never stop cacking me up, mate, but uh, very unnerving to see Ian Beale the seal, and, you know, I tried to film him, but it's too, the visibility is too poor, so I don't even get a, you know, if it was, if it was lovely vis, I wouldn't mind, because I can see, I can, I've got eyes on him, and we could maybe have a little bit of a play about and whatnot, but when visibility is as cack as it is, going in and out of that kelp, man, it's just, he's a, he's, he's a vibe. So he's having to compete with Ian Beale as well. Having to compete with Ian Beale, and I know. You know, he's not going to get me or anything, but it's just a bit unnerving to see him milling around me. I don't know, and because I'm unnerved, I'm not being able to hold my breath properly. Because it's that one little bit of he's be 100% zen, and he's just making me not zen at all. <laughs> he's in amongst all weeds still. He's still in there waiting for me. It's like Jaws. Yeah, he's got my number, hasn't he? I'm Brody or whatever he's called. He's got my number. I thought I'd be a hero and go back in again, but no joy. Ah, I got eyes on a lobster about this big, it was definitely uh, legal size. And I got under the, the rock that he was in and shot out the back of it and away, chased him, but there's no chance, mate, no chance. Disheartened, mate, I'm disheartened, if I'm honest. Uh, oh. Nice to do a bit of free diving though. Saw some good wildlife. But in the end I was just getting frustrated because I was caught up in all caught up in all kelp. I lost me um I lost my line cutter. My knife kept getting everything kept getting caught on kelp because it was really thick and dense. I'm going to film myself walking back up that cliff, mate. It's disheartening. It's hard graft. Woo! So... Uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to square away all my stuff and then... I'm going to get off. And we'll give it, give it another go tomorrow. I'm back. Once again.
the renegade master. Right. Whew. Tell you what, I'll be fit in no time. Fit as a fiddle. Back again. Right, let's get suited up. Oh, <laughs> three hours mate, I was in there. Best part of three hours. I didn't see any fish, I saw a dogfish. Uh, and that was it, as far as fish. And I got one lobster that was of size, but it had, it was buried, which means it's got eggs on it. Uh, I got this one. He's going to go back and drink though, because I measured the uh, from the back of the eye to the end of the uh, to the first line here, look. And he's just slightly he's slightly under. And crab <laughs> about two centimeters under, or about a centimeter under legal limit. So I'm going to go release these bad boys back into the soup. In a survival situation. That's fodder that, that's getting eaten. But in a little mermaid type situation, you can go back to the soup. Gone. Get it. Oh, it's buzzing, mate. Things always look bigger under water, mate. Oh. Things always look bigger under water. So if you're going to do any DPs, any knob picks are out, lads, just, um, just do them in the sea. <laughs> so everything looks bigger in the sea. That, when I honestly, when I was tussling with that, <laughs> it didn't look it now, but when I was tussling with that to get it out from under its rock, it looked, it looked massive. I thought, here we go, big old edible brown crab, and not about three centimeters out. So, uh, back. So long, wild lass. Good luck. I'll see you soon. Another fruitless day in the Milky North Sea. Uh, right, let's get all the clobber. I'll tell you what I did get, mate. So it wasn't a it wasn't a completely wasted journey. In fact, it wasn't wasted at all. I enjoyed myself. Love it. Love it in there. But I got myself a nice um, got myself a nice sea urchin shell. I'll take that home as a consolation prize. I'll see you back down here tomorrow morning. <laughs> I get suited and booted again and see what I can bring. The problem I'm having is, yeah, mate, come here. The problem I'm having is like uh, the GoPro only lasts a certain amount of time, and I'm in there for three hours, and I, I forget to, I forget about it and just leave it on, then it runs out of battery in like half an hour. So. If I get some on the GoPro, it'll be lucky. It will be lucky, but I'm just enjoying it in the sea, mate. Absolutely loving it in there. But it would be nice to be able to cook some up. Just makes a nice thumbnail, doesn't it? And then we can have a natter out fire and that. Otherwise, I don't have out. I don't have any content for you, mate. I don't have the content. Just don't have it. Ah, oh. right. Let's saddle up. Saddle up and get into soup. Trick is not to cut circulation off your feet, isn't it? <laughs> I just want to be in there for as long as I can, so I'm going to have the hour and a half before low tide, and then the hour of slack water, and then I'll and then I'll get me sell in. So two and a half hours in the soup to pull out something legal, some of legal size, so we can have some fodder. Fingers crossed, mate. I've worked for this one. <laughs> I've worked for this one. Three days I've been grafting for this.
got myself a feed. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Two and a half hours in there. Can't believe, can't believe I've caught a cod. <laughs> Use my dive knife, I'm gonna go and gut him in the um, in the sea. It's late in the day, I'm tempted to just tempted to head home and put these on ice or put them in the fridge uh, and then we'll take them out and cook them outside later on or tomorrow I want to do them justice oh, three days on bounce mate I'm not getting for the final time in a while let's take on this cliff come on and there you go and that brings us here so I'm going to knock up a quick fire and we're going to get this we're going to get this catch on the cook get this catch on the coals yes Right, come on. Seems to have lost the claw. That ain't good, is it? He seems to have lost the claw. Oh man. I wonder if I've dropped it on the way in here. Shall I run back and have a look? I will. <laughs> look at that, mate. Just retraced my steps and found it on woodland floor. Luckily, it was that way up so it wasn't as camouflaged, but that is a. Uh... Oh, destiny. Destiny. <laughs> Get there, mate. Sorry about. Sorry about it. Now, I used to play for Bundesliga, but fell on hard times. The, the booze got me. The booze got me relegated. Relegated to sleeping on streets, and then relegated to sleeping on streets. Started on weeds. <laughs> took took a hit of the weeds, and now look at me. State of it. Bundesliga head. Hey, my grill's a bit too small for fish. <laughs> Which is a good uh, good predicament to be in. So we'll let that die down to a decent, decent coals and then we'll get it on. Don't need a great deal of seasoning, but I am going to just smash a bit of salt on her. Get a bit of salt on that side. As I say, it's the only seasoning I've got, otherwise, unless I used, unless I smashed a little bit of smidge on it. I reckon the, uh, it'll just fall off the bone, it should do. I'll probably be able to pull the backbone out. <coughs> it smells lovely. Right, I'm always getting peppered by fire while I'm trying to eat, so... I'm going to deal with it now.
and I'm always sticking around just to see, to make sure anyway. That's good. I just want the main bit of it out and I'll leave that there. Just so it's not smoking in my grill while I'm trying to eat. I'll leave that there and I'll discard it after dinner. Bundesliga brain. Hey up mate, how are you? Should we get it more Bundesliga? Like that, covering full barnet look. Get the lugs out. <laughs> what a okay, idiot, right. Have a at this look mate. Ark at that. Ark at that. Ark I'm asylum. I'm, a, I'm as I'm as chuffed as a dog with two knobs. I really am. And I uh, Sorry for putting that image in your head, but look at that, mate. That's been a long time. It's just a little goal that I've done and I've achieved on my own, and I'm a pr I appreciate that. Whew. Hard fought, like, really hard fought. Let's get into it anyway. Dusting tools, dusting bushcraft tools, go on. Cooking good in the woods. Well, sorry, Justin. Focusing issues. Right. Let's get on it, mate. <laughs> oh. Mmm. My word. Look at it. Look at it. Get in here. Look at that, mate. Oh. Still nice and warm as well. Do you know what? I'm so glad that I didn't. Mm. I'm so glad I didn't chuck all the bells and whistles at it. Just let the ingredients speak for themselves. <laughs> Do you know what, I reckon I'll be able to just pull this bone out of it. Yeah, get out. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude. Get my bonnet out of the way. Bundesliga brain. Ah. Mm. That is delicious. Lovely and smoky as well. Should have a little. <laughs> what are you doing all the way up there, mate? Come down here. Come down here to me. There you are. Do you know what? I'm getting all there. <laughs> getting a bead on from eating. That's. Lost a bit of weight, though, lads and lasses. I've been looking after myself. <sighs> I've been. Um, this Sunday, which, what day is it now? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In three days, it'll be a month sober. A month without any. Lotions and potions, which might not seem like a big thing, but it's the longest I've been since I was about 13, <laughs> if I'm honest. Oh, come off it. Just pinging shell into undergrowth for its stoats and wombles to have. So yeah mate, just clean and serene. I'd got me selling a little bit of a pickle. So just having a bit of time off it all. And uh, yeah, this Sunday I'll have gone a month sober. So it's amazing really what, what it'll do for you. And I've uh, managed to shift my gut and uh, I'm in such a good mental headspace at the moment. But you're sponsored by a brewery. I know. <laughs> I know these things. And I'm not saying I'm quitting forever. I'm just saying that when times are difficult, you know, when life's chucking you lemons all the time, which it has been of late, then if I were just to 
hit the bottle and hit the other or whatever it's running from my problems it's making worse making stuff worse so a good a good chunk of sobriety i think for me suits me down to the ground or it is suiting me down to the ground really enjoying it oh <laughs> are you having that or not look at that beautiful meat that lobster tail ah oh, thank you thank you oh my god mm. mate that is just sweet that is so sweet it's like mm, it's like it's been candied All that. Arcutor. Arcutor. I think the sun's coming out for it. <laughs> mm. Hey man, we've got some big projects on. I need to be physically and mentally in good shape. Should we have a little look at these claws? I suspect I've done these for a little bit too long, but that's part of it claw meat mm. delicious so different to the tail as well adds a like nutty nutty vibe to it I've always thought um, I've got a few landscaping jobs coming through now though so we're looking at we're coming out the other side and I would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout this time and I genuinely couldn't have done it without you. You've put food on my table, kept a roof over my head, stopped me from going absolutely batshit. So, I this is, I love you. I love you. You love me. You've really helped me. And, you know, times I've been a bit hard financially and I put my, I thought, right, what, what do, you know, let's prioritise. I thought I would sell my tent with the idea of buying it back when things were a little bit eat better. Get off. So I thought I'll put it on Instagram to see if... See if one of my uh, camping followers would like the first chance to buy it. I put it on and it just it got out of hand. Get off. Someone set up a Just Giving page and everyone just chipped in to buy my tent back for me. But it just went like... The out oh, this is delicious. The outpouring of support. I mean, I'm not going to get emotional. I promise myself no more now. Be strong. Because I'm just going to produce the best content I can for you. From here on in. That's how I say thank you. Not by sitting and bawling on camera. <laughs> oh, by um, just producing some quality content for you. And that's what I'm going to do. There we are. Me eating with my hands in, in woods. That's part of it. Uh, yeah, the support was just silly, mate. It was just absolutely silly, and um, so I didn't. I kept my tent. <laughs> I kept my tent, and now that tent. For everyone who contributed, I just want to say thank you to you. I've not been able to get back to everyone. I put a blanket sort of thank you on Instagram, but thank you so much. I was blown away by the support. By the end of the day, mate, I was absolutely, I was exhausted with, with emotion. I was overwhelmed. Speaking of overwhelmed, look at that. That's overwhelming, isn't it, look. Huh. Yeah, I was blown away by the support. I can't thank you enough. I just needed to get through until I can get some more work in and you just came through and looked after me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate it. And um, So my next vid, I think, I've got to take the Hilleberg out. It's coming out. I'm going to take it out. And we're going to, we're going to camp in it. Because to everyone who, who, who supported me, it's yours as well now. Right. Out. Oh. You have shares in it, mate. We can see it alternate weekends. 
But yeah, thank you. And to everyone who bought a... Uh, everyone who bought a uh, Dunk the Junk patch and sticker. And everyone who um, signed up to Patreon. That makes an absolute world of difference. Um, and I'm going to be putting more content on Patreon only. As I venture into the world of podcasting, I'm going to um, I'm going to upload it just to the to my Patreon page at first, because you guys deserve it. And I'm still ironing out the the the, the creatures. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, what I would like as a little bit of a thing is um, ah oh, bollocks. Mate, I'm devouring this. Look at this. It looks like one of them skeletons off cartoons, though. <laughs> Get in. Get in, yeah. Can you... Mm. Put down below who you'd like to, have, who you'd like to see... Um, who you'd like me to have as a guest on my podcast. Um, the Hayes Outdoors podcast. He's going to be coming soon. I've had Joey D on it already. I'm going to have Joey D back on. Bunny. And I'm going to have Russ. My mate Russ, the, the owner of Northern Monk, said he'll come on the podcast. But if you can think of anyone else from the bushcrafting sort of outdoorsy sort of world that you'd like to, you'd like me to interview and have on the podcast, can you put it down below, mate? Because I'm... I'm getting some ideas together. Mm. Look at that. Done it in. I'm full. Mm. Yeah, sensible ones, please. I know everyone's going to say Stephen Seagal. But I've got some controversial news about Stephen Seagal for you, mate, if you want to hear it. Uh, not everyone knows this, uh, is that I actually prefer Jean-Claude Van Damme. There you go. And that's the truth. Because when you think about it, if you look at the films they both did, Jean-Claude Van Damme versus Steven Seagal, there's no, there's no competition, mate. Bloodsport, kickboxer, Cyborg. Uh, was he in, what was that cop one? Time cop? Or was that still on? Don't know. That one where he's twins <laughs> with himself. Anyway, Van Damme, mate, is the new, he's the new Seagal. Always has been. Always will be. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, that was one of the best yet. Look at Barnetto. Just one Barnetto. Right, I'm out of here. Um, thanks to everyone who uh, did their own version of Shows Your Steak Lockdown Challenge and spoke a little bit about how it's made them feel and what they've taken from it. Uh, I understand that lockdown has eased a lot now and people are getting back to normal life, but it's still, you know, it doesn't mean that people aren't still affected by it. I, for one, am going to take a lot from this lockdown, mate. It's been a roller coaster. No one I tagged did it. <laughs> it didn't have the. It didn't. It didn't uh, fly my beauties like the first one. But that's that doesn't matter because it was about 
me talking to, to you really and just getting a bit of a dialogue going. So thanks to anyone who, who did it and who tagged me. Uh, because I'm aware that it, you know, we're still all, I feel, a little bit shell-shocked. It's all sort of going back to normal, but I was long, I was shadowing or whatever they call it. I'm lock, total lockdown for a, for a long time, mate. It went through ringer. So it's going to do something to you, isn't it? You can't just be like, oh, well, stiff upper lip, doesn't matter, get on with it. We have to, we have to acknowledge it. We have to take stuff from it and grow from it. I reckon anyway. So big up everyone who did that anyway. Right, let's just, let's saddle up. What a journey, mate, this video has been. It's taken me, it's taken me about a week to do it. <laughs> it's taken me a long time up and down that cliff in that water. It's, uh, it's not as easy as just going and camping on top of a mountain or whatever. It's uh, this whole catch and cook lark. But I, for, for, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And that was just heavenly. It tasted so good and worth the wait. Right, much love to everyone. Thank you again for all the support. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit ground running now. I'm gonna, uh, the only way that I can, that I can thank you really is just by, just by putting all I can into, into creating content for you just to, I don't know, just entertain you and that maybe teach you a little something or other, if I can, along the way. But yeah, chuck down who you want to see in my podcast. Be reasonable. Jean-Claude Van Damme ain't going to come on it or out. He might. You never know. Anyway, double-handed salute to Namaste. <laughs> I just made that up and it worked. Nah, namaste safe. Love you. Bye. Oh, just... Let's just get it over and done with. Love you. Bye. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month.